But his message is, is simple. We care about the United States of America. We care about economic prosperity. We care about economic growth. We care about trade. We care about being treated fairly. And we want to be part of the global economy. We want to be part of the global universe, but we don't want to be taken advantage of. Mm -hmm. And we want to work with each and every country out there. And we want to treat you fairly, and we want you to treat us fairly, and we want to be a great partner with each and every one of you. You, we were talking about China in the green room before coming back here. I must say, leading up to just a few weeks ago, I was very concerned about U.S. sino relations. Uh, the rhetoric in the campaign was very heated on, on all sides. China is an easy villain for us uh, from an economic rhetoric standpoint. But the meeting with President Xi seemed to have gone very, very well. You seem to have a plan going forward. You talk a little bit about what that plan looks like and how do you see U.S.-China relations developing? The meetings went great. I, I really thought the meetings went great. We had, uh, you know, 24 hours of, you know, pretty intense meetings, um, big group meet, you know, two big group meetings. Um, and, and then we split into two smaller groups, which was probably the most productive time. Um, I was part of the very small group talking on trade where we really got down to nuts and bolts issues on trade. Uh, that was, that was the, the meeting when we talked about our service trade industry and opening up um, China for our service business, not only the ownership, but what they would have to do with intellectual property rights and, right. and software and data storage and all their rules on having software stored on continent and, uh, and, yeah, and, and, yeah. and data stored and localiz localization versus international standards. Um, and, and changing import and export rules. You know, we've, we've agreed to beef exports for a long time and they haven't happened. Right. And we got to get beef going in the next 100 days. They pledged to work with us on beef and rice in the next 100 days. Um, we've talked to them about a bunch of other issues where we literally have laid out a 100 day plan for each other where we're going to try and open up more bilateral uh, trade with each other, uh, both on service as, as well as on manufactured goods. And we're continuing to have those dialogues as we speak right now. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and I thought those dialogues went very well. Uh, the president got along very well with, with President Xi. I think they've forged a very good relationship since then. I think it's been reported quite actively uh, that they've had a follow-up phone conversation. President Xi has extended a formal invitation to the president to come to China in the fall. I think the president would very much like to go to China in the fall. The big condition being that we need to continue to make progress on the trade in the trade negotiations. You know, the president does not like our trade deficit. He wants that trade deficit to narrow, and he'll, he's happy to have it narrow by us exporting more to China. You know, it doesn't have to be that they stop importing to us, but we have to export more to them so that trade deficit narrows and narrows quite quickly. We have a huge conference in Beijing in November. We'd love to have you and the president come speak there. I think it's a great opportunity for you. Well, well, I'm not sure that will be our forcing function, but we'll, we'll see. <laughs> now, a little over 10 years ago, Hank Paulson and I launched the SED process, which is a formal negotiation with the Chinese. Do you, do you foresee uh, similar kinds of negotiation vehicles, or is this really kind of do your 100-day plan, then come back, and then rethink what the mechanism looks like? No, no, no. The 100-day the, the plan is a kickstart plan for things that have been sort of in the hopper, some of them for four to six years, right. that have just sort of been stalling around the edges where we have to show each other that we can walk together, then we can start running. The 100-day the plan is just a start. So it's a confidence builder on both Yeah, it's, it's yeah. a confidence builder. It's getting some exports out of the United States into China, showing that we can decrease the trade deficit by us exporting but we actually sent them in a response. We sent a 100-day plan, but we sent a longer-term plan. And longer-term plan not being decades, longer-term plan being a year. And the year plan had an awful lot on it. I mean, so we're not saying, look, it's 100 and done. It's 100, we start, and then we start really working hard after we get done with the 100-day plan. Then we start really running after the, the big things that are really going to move the needle. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.